episode of Cycles. I am, but I have to live my life. Yeah, right. What about our daughter? What do I tell her? She loves her dad very much. I plan on coming to see her around her birthday. John, that's a month away. She needs to hear from you now. I assure you that nothing is wrong with you. I wouldn't do that to you. I love you. Whatever. You don't mean that. You left me for a man. What does he have that I don't have? Look, I want to get away from my problems. I need a break. I'm tired of my mom and dad. This will help me. No, China, it won't. All drugs do is kill and destroy. Not me. I'm going away for a while. Celine, come on and try it. Brenda has more pills. I sure do. And I got this all for you. Who do you get your drugs from? See, that's money. That's none of your business where I get my stuff from. Yes, it is. All of y'all need to go to jail. Girl, get yourself up. What is wrong with you? China, your mom trusted me with you. What were you thinking? China! China! Oh, God. Girl, go call the ambulance right now! It's a small world. Mm-hmm, it sure is. So, we really need to keep our relationship between you and I. Uh-oh. Wait a minute, what relationship? Don't flip on me. Oh. You haven't called me in three days. What? I want to be there for you and the baby. I love you. You know what? What we had was a one-night stand. I love my husband. No, you don't. Listen, I fell in love with you the moment I saw you at the store. But I really want my husband back. But he doesn't want you back. You told me that. Look, Michael, I, I can't see you anymore. I just can't. We'll see about that. Maybe Minister Reed or, sorry, Artie. Oh, gosh. Maybe he should know about our affair. And now for this episode of Cycles, the TV series. Mommy, what's for lunch? <laughs> Something simple, hot dogs, french fries, and salad. But where's daddy? He hasn't been around. Well, you know he's been working out of town. Is he coming back? He'll be back to see you. Uh, but I thought he was gonna live with us. Jacob, we'll see about that. I want to tell them about my new basketball game. And you can. You can call them right after we finish eating. Okay. Mommy, the doorbell, can I get it? No, sweetness, I got it. Come on in, y'all. Hey, y'all. Come hey. on in. Hey, Corey. Hey. Hey. Good to see you. We you was missing the church today. Oh, come on in. It's time for dinner. Ooh. You can tell some yeah, iced tea. For you. Who went to another church this morning? We just got in. Pastor Bradley delivered a powerful message today. What, what was it? Prayer, honey. Oh. You know, I mean, more of it. Look, we all do. I've been taking special times a day just for prayer. How? I pray in the morning, at noon, and before bed. That's what I need to do. Maybe I wouldn't be in this mess if I prayed more. Me too. It seems like I go from one bad habit to the next. Sean, you don't have to put yourself through that if you don't want to. It feels like the blind leading the blind. And listen, you know we can't get nowhere like that. I know, but the thing about it is I just feel like I'm so out of touch. But look, you just started the counseling. Just give yourself time to regroup and heal. You know, she's hard on herself just like I am. Mm -hmm. Well, look, we've all missed the mark, okay? But because of God's remarkable grace and mercy, he gives us chance after chance to get it right. I know, but Artie's not giving me another chance. It's over. And I just have to come to grips with it. Mm. Well, Liv, you're just gonna have to worry about you and the baby right now. Right. I know, I know. That's right. Jacob, it's time to eat! Y'all can help yourself. Victoria, oh, thank you so much. We love you so much, girl. You. What are friends for? That's right. Conference 
help our students. There is so much going on with cyberbullying, and it's getting worse. I know. The emergency meeting we just left was held because of these suicide cases that were put on Facebook. They may have a negative effect on our students. We got to take preventive measures. And did you see them? Yes, I saw some of them. First, the 12 year old hung herself, then the 15 year old hung herself with a noose. And most recently, the young actor killed himself. That's why they called this meeting today. It's like a state of emergency. Jim, can we take a moment and pray? Okay. Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus, your son. We ask for your mercy and your grace. Father in heaven, first we repent for our sins and we ask your forgiveness. Father God, we ask you to protect the minds of your young people. We ask you, Father, to bind the, these suicidal acts in your name through your blood. And we ask you to send these suicidal acts back to the pits of hell. Father God, we ask for your Holy Spirit to just anoint your people. Help us to walk in your light. And Father God, we ask for the, your peace of mind to be upon us, Father, to be upon your young people, to be upon the people and the teachers and the staff in school. And Father God, we thank you for your spirit and your presence because you are alive. We speak life to the world in Jesus' name. Amen. I know the doctors did all they could for China, but I just thought they'd keep her overnight. I did too, but look at her. She's fine. Her vitals are good, and she woke and spoke. It's a blessing. I know. Just to think, I almost lost my baby. My baby? Thanks again for being such a great role model to her. Oh, you're welcome. She'll be fine, so don't worry. We already prayed and believed that God's going to heal her. I know, but just to think, it's scary. I thought I taught her better. I thought she knew better. Linda, don't blame yourself. You're a good mom, and she's a good child. <gasps> oh, Jesus! Oh, Look at her. her. I don't know. It must be the side effects of the drugs. I'm going to call the ambulance. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Please save my baby, God. Oh, my God. Lord, help her. <laughs> You know, you don't have to do this. I can pay for my own meal. I know. Just let me bless you. Uh-huh. So, uh, what's the catch? Nothing. Nothing at all. Mm -hmm. Can people change? That's not the gin I know, and yes, they can. I've changed. Oh. I really have. Good. That's Guess good. what? I'm listening. I got my degree in social work. What? I passed my test. Wow. Yes. That's congratulations. And I got a job with social services. Wow. Yes. That's really good to hear. I'm proud of you. I mean, when we were married, I did work. You did? I just couldn't keep a job. Yeah, I know, because I filled in the gaps. <laughs> That's what good husbands do. True. You're right. You're right. Paul. Yeah. Do you ever miss me? Yeah. Yeah. I, um, but, you know, that's, that's over, over now. Over now. You never know. I mean, we can start all over again. <laughs> so that's why you brought me here. That's what this this dinner is oh, about. No. Oh no. Ah. Okay. I was just asking. Yeah. But are you seeing anyone? Nope. Not really. Neither am I. Hmm. Yeah. Let's just enjoy our food. Yeah. Yeah, let's. <laughs> Do you mind if I order some wine? No, no, go ahead. You've been sober for how long now? Five years and wow. counting. Yeah. That is great. Yeah, That's thank you. Great. Thank you. Um, God is really, really keeping me. You know, but uh, maybe you shouldn't drink with my history. Are you trying to knock me <laughs> off the wagon? Chair? No. Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh. All right. Never mind. Okay. I won't order any wine. Okay. <laughs> I never thought of you as an alcoholic, <laughs> just a drunk. Just a, I drunk too much, <laughs> uh, way too much. But um, I've been delivered from alcohol. I don't like the taste anymore. Um, yeah. So is everything okay? Um, yeah. Let let me just check this real quick. Okay. Thank you. 
I'm here at the restaurant with Paul. I am trying to get next to him, but he is so hard to bite. I ordered some alcohol and he just won't give in. I know he likes liquor, but I'm gonna get him back if it's the last thing that I do. Call me back when you get this message. So is everything okay? Yeah, um, the doctor is seeing China right now. Let's pray. Lord, please help that baby. Yes, please. God. God, touch her mind, her body, and her soul. We cannot lose our youth. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 We'll be all right. Uh, shall we eat? <laughs> Let's go. Um, Oh, come on in. Good morning. I'm going to introduce you to our new coach for the track and soccer. He will be teaching. He will be teaching. A, he will be teaching our computer applications and accounting. Miss Missouri is our assistant principal. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm really invested in the community, so I'm really excited to get going. I know a lot of students, so I'm pretty familiar with how the community is. So I just want to get going, get That's after great. it. Oh, okay, so you can help us with some of the bullying and the drug problems because it's gotten so out of hand. I know we've had to actually let a lot of players go because of things like that. I see we just had a cyberbullying conference. I heard it went pretty well. Yes, it did. But we need some additional strategies. The student named Brandon Robbins, he was exploded and with this loophole, I don't believe it, but somehow he had the chance to return back to school. Mm -hmm. I know there's a lot of glitches, and uh, but I think we can make this work. I, I think we can beat this. Just, just let me know what I can do. Okay, thank you. Phil. Okay, yeah, just, just give me a post-it. Okay. Now back to Brandon. Now I haven't seen him. Now according to our attendance records, he's been absent. Yes, but he has been giving drug samples to our students. Chandler Jones is one of them. China? That's my babysitter. You know, I lost my phone this weekend, and so I haven't heard anything that's happened. Yes, I got a call from Detective Paul Smith. Yeah. Wow. May I go see you trying to leave a little early? Uh, yes, yeah, sure you can, uh, Miss Missouri. Um, I think I'm going to go see her today myself. Oh, it knows I have warned this girl over and over again. And where is she again? Uh, she had a setback, but um, she's at home. Now she's back at home. So that means she'll need homebound services? Yes, yeah, she will. Um, I done uh, had that set up already. Uh, Coach Clemens, he's gonna be a homebound teacher. Really? How so fast? Well, he went on to apply for that position. Oh, that's great, but this China thing has really got me upset. Me too, me too. We are going to have to have a forum about drugs. I want you to get a team together and schedule a forum. I would like to get politicians, ministers, pastors, anybody that will help us win this battle against drugs. Yes, sir. I'll do just that. Brandon, what what are you doing here? Turn myself in. You're doing the right thing. Take a seat. I went too far this time. I know all about it, but I want to get you some real help. I need help. Well, I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I gave drugs to China and now she's sick. You know, Brandon, I'm going to have to call Officer Mitchell, though. Go ahead. I'm tired of doing all of this. Hello? Hey, hey, Coach Clemens. Sure, I'll be right there. So, Brandon, how did, how did all this happen? Where, where are your parents? They're at work. 
I just want to make some fast money. I didn't mean for this to happen. Brayden, this is the first step to deliverance. You admitted you made a mistake, and now you're turning yourself in. Yeah, but I'm scared. Like, what's going to happen to me? Come in. So is this who I think it is? Yep. Yeah, it's me. I messed up again. Well, son, we're gonna have to take you in this time. Uh, uh, let me be your mentor, if, that, if that's okay with you, Brandon. Yeah, because my real dad left a long time ago. Well, we're gonna get you some help. They want to call Dr. Gaines and set up a consultation with you. You think I'm crazy? No, we're just gonna get you some help and get you out of this. Brandon, listen, we think you're a smart young man. Lots of potential. I mean, I cannot tell you, a, a, a bunch of potential. We just don't want to see you wasted. Come on, let's go. We'll get you some help. Yeah, I'm going to go see her uh, this afternoon when okay. school is on here. Thank you. Hey, Russell Wilson. We have Brandon. He's turned himself in. Thank God. Brandon, this is the best decision you ever did. We've got to get a handle on this. It's gotten way out of hand. He's confessed to selling the drugs. Mm. Brandon, that's a smart thing to do. Do you know, uh, after you gave Challenge a drug and she fainted, we found out that uh, you left the scene? And do you know the police is looking for you? Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, I want to get better. I'm, I'm tired of this kind of life. You know, you really hurt someone that I really love, and I hope you get the maximum. China is a sweet, innocent young girl, and you get what you deserve. Well, I've called the police, and they're on the way. I called them when I was to the office here, so. Well, good work, good work, and uh, Brandon, we'll see you in court. Yes, we will, and we'll make our recommendations accordingly. Hey, Pastor Bradley, how are you, sir? Good, Minister Reed. How about you? Doing well, sir. Very good. How's it going, Minister Reed? We've missed you at church. Yeah, I know. I'm going through the divorce. I want out of this marriage. Are you sure about this, Minister Reed? I mean, are you really sure? I mean, have you prayed, Minister Reed? Really prayed about it? Yes, sir, I have. Olivia has treated me like dirt. It's time for me to move on. It's over. Son, I understand that you're hurting. I can imagine. But I just want to make sure you're doing the right thing. I am. I am. I'm getting over Olivia, and I'm not looking back. Excuse me a minute. Hello? 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 Anybody there? Come in. Pastor Bradley, you had a long distance phone call. I thought you'd pick up. I did, but there was no answer. Well, I'll put it through again. Okay, thank you. Minister Reed, have you met our new church secretary? Yes, sir, I have. Nice to see you again. How have you been? I've been well. I'll make it. Well, okay. Take care. Man, I'm so sorry to hear that you guys are going to go through with the divorce, but if it's the Lord's will, it'll work out. Yes, Pastor. It's been enough. It's a wrap. I do understand, and I'll be praying for you both that it'll work out for you both. I appreciate it. So excuse me a second. Hello? Um, Minister Reed, can you excuse me for a moment? I need to take this call. Sure, Pastor. Who is this? What do you want? This is the third time you've called my phone this week. Tell me, what do you want? You mean you don't know who I am? How could that be? After all, we have crossed paths. Look, tell me who you are and what you want before I get the police involved. Well, I'm coming to see you, Pastor Bradley. 
or should I say, <clears throat> no, I'll say that for next time. Oh, tell Rita I said howdy. What did you say? Rita, Rita, you heard me. That's my wife's name. How do you know my wife's name? <laughs> You'll find out. I know all about you. Riley, I have a special delivery package for you. I've already signed for it. Thank you. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah I'm fine. Are you sure? I'm, I'm sure. I'm gonna take my lunch now. I'll see you later. Okay. All right. Have a good one. Thank you, you too. What is this? Who's doing this? You see, I'm very much alive. Supposed to be a pastor, but you jive. In case nobody's heard, they're going to hear the word. I'm going to tell it all, because it's time for my call. Sign Big C. I'm going to rock your world. Lord Jesus. Oh, my God. Hello, Pastor Bradley's office. This is Barbara Coles. How may I direct your call? Um, yes, he is. Could you hold for a moment, please? Oh, I transfer you. Hello, are you still there? Yes, I'm not sure why he's not answering. Um, if you will hold for a little longer, I will go check for you. Thank you. Pastor Bradley? Pastor Bradley, are you here? Hmm, he usually tells me when he leaves. Okay. Hello? Hello? Guess they hung up. Reality checks in. It's time to get real. Be honest with yourself. Make your confessions unto him. 1 John 1 9 says, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Are you ready to confess to God, to talk to Him, and to tell Him all about it? Reality, it's time to get real. Reality does check in. struggles we fight from within the other side sure looks greener cause the pressure won't let up and pieces so far off seem sure not playing your cards right hold on through the heartache stand tall when your heart breaks and do what you can to succeed for family